I was working directly for the chief financial officer at Royal Bank of Canada. And because of Latin American debt exposure, uh, the Royal Bank of Canada was essentially bankrupt. And I'm like, this is crazy. I work six years, go to school, come back and work in Canada's largest bank, and it's bankrupt. And it wasn't just the Royal Bank of Canada that was in that situation. It was exactly the same situation at Chase Manhattan Bank, other banks on Wall Street, other global banks, because they had all done the same lending errors by taking petrodollars and recycling them through to lesser developed countries, including Latin America. So quite honestly, Lucas, this was uh, 1988 and I already was becoming a Bitcoiner. I just didn't know why. <laughs>